morning, morning Barons. Barons. I'm Derek Candelario. And I'm Xavier. And welcome back to the BVTV News Broadcast. Today is April 18th, 2024. Hey Derek, did you know that today is National Exercise Day? I had no idea that was a thing. What do you plan on doing today? Well, I run track, so I think you can guess what I'll be doing. Other than just running to get fit, what's so important about getting all sweaty anyways? Well, Luke and Charlie can tell you about what makes exercise more than just being sweaty. Then let's go to you guys. What's up, Barons? It's Luke. And it's Charlie. And today we're interviewing our teachers to what it means to be healthy. Oh, I think being healthy, part of it is taking care of your body, and then part of it is taking care of um, your mind and your mental health. So being active every day, you should be active, sweating at least 15 to 20 minutes um, a day. For freshmen and sophomores, you have PE. Hopefully you're doing it uh, two or three times a week, but um, a lot aren't. So just getting outside, walking, jogging, playing a sport. Um, and then also taking care of your mental health. Um, part of that is sleeping, getting good sleep. I know people like to stay up late at night, but honestly getting a good night's sleep, that'll help you mentally and it'll help you physically. Um, and just, you know, if you're going through a stressful time or anxiety, talking to somebody, um, journaling, not keeping it in, um, finding someone safe to talk to, whether it's a teacher or friends or counselors. Um, but it's really important to take care of your body and your mind. Bye, Barons. Maintaining good health is essential for a fulfilling life, from nourishing your body with wholesome foods to staying active and prioritizing mental well being. Embracing a healthy lifestyle is a gift you give yourself every day. Make sure to stay healthy, Barons. Thank you. That was some pretty good fitness advice. Xavier, what do you do to be healthy? I'm probably going to go for a jog after school. I might join you. Even exercising casually is a good way to keep yourself healthy. Or even prepare you for a sport you may want to join. Good point. And that brings us to our sport of the week. Our lady barons, who also get a full body workout, who can really go the distance and know how to hit home, a team who has won 11 of their games already. Okay, okay. The producer wants us to cut the suspense. The team we'll be talking about today is the one, the only, softball team! Kelly, we're going to you now. Parents, today I'll be interviewing one of our star softball players about how the season's going. Let's go. The Lady Barons record is 9-7-1 with a very difficult schedule, led by power hitter sophomore Ariana Magdaleno and their ace pitcher Noel Calavi, a freshman. The Barons have their upcoming league opponents like Modern Day Otai Eastlake, which should be full of good competition. Hi, my name is AJ. I play on the Benita Vista softball team. I am a corner. I am going to UC San Diego to play Division One softball. How do you think the team's been doing this year? Um, we started off a little rough, but we're heading in the right direction going into the league. How do you guys think you're going to do in playoffs? Well, currently we're in um, top eight in the county, so we might make open division playoffs. So that might be a little challenge for our team, but anything is possible. But if we get bumped out to Division One, we are for sure gonna take it off. When's your next home game? Um, next Wednesday uh, against Modern Day at four o'clock. Thank you, AJ, for that great interview. Hey, Xavier, are you gonna be at the next game? Thanks for the info, Kelly. And yes, I do plan on going. I can't wait. Good luck to our Lady Barons and to you, Allie. It's so cool to see one of our own BVTV members as a part of such a great team. And speaking of great teams. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't do two sports in one broadcast. Don't worry, this isn't a sports team. Though, with how much these guys work their diaphragm, it might as well be. Ah, you're talking about the... The VMD. I knew that. Anyways, I heard auditions for the VMD are starting up soon. Dev, Nico, can you guys tell us more about that? Hey, Barons, it's Dev. Today we're going to be interviewing Mr. Atwood on the upcoming VMD auditions. Let's get loud and proud. All right, can you please state your name, sir? Yeah, I'm Michael Atwood. I'm the vocal director here at Benita Vista. And what can you tell me about the VMD auditions? Auditions are coming up the week of April 29th to May 3rd. Uh, it's basically a chance for students to show off their talent and to sing, to dance. I get to meet folks who are, who are interested in doing extra show choirs. And it's just, it's just a fun opportunity. Yeah, auditions can seem scary, um, but it's really just fun. It's a chance to meet current people in show choir and a chance for me to kind of see everyone and see their interests, see where they're at, just, and really just see how talented these students have been. Yeah. And what else are you looking for for VMD? Yeah, so we have our last competition of the season this, this Saturday, April 20th. At OG 
Ocean, Ocean State High School. Uh, it's a really fun competition. It's a huge competition, a lot, a lot of great choirs. After that, we do like a junior show camp for elementary students in the area, where we have um, third eighth graders on campus to learn how to sing and dance, just have fun, and, you know, and see how much fun we have singing and dancing. And and then from that, in May, we get into our end of the year stuff with our uh, Giants concert called Spring Sing. It's basically the, the combined choir's finale, all the, uh, and then we say goodbye to our seniors, all those things, um, just to kind of uh, cap off the year and all the amazing things we, 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 we've uh, done this year. And then one last thing, yeah. if there's anyone out there watching BBTV that wants to join the vocal music department or any other departments that you run, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say to them right now? I would say, I would say if you're even on the fence, just just go for it. Like I, there's been so many times in my life, like should I do this? Should I not? Should I do this? And then I ended up I ended up just doing it, and I'm like, wow, I'm so glad I did it. And it's just it's a fun group. You know, Benita is a huge school, and I tell people like find that group, find that community on campus because that's so important. And VMD is fun people. They're really inclusive. It's a great community, and it's a great and great 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 way to meet people and just have fun. I think, I think it's so important to make memories long after high school. So if you're interested in coming by, joining the VMD, pack us from the theater, um, and just come talk to me. Come talk to current VMD students. Like where you can, we we will help you, we will help you and guide you through the process. Thank you so much. Dave. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Atwood. Hey, Xavier. Did you ever think of joining VMD? I got to be honest. I never thought about joining myself. On another note, congrats to our Sound Unlimited and Music Machine on their recent second places during last weekend's competition. And congrats to Victoria Thatch for the Best Soloist Award and Kaylin Connors for Best Performer Award. If you want a taste of their skills, stop by the evening showcase today at 6.30 p.m. Entrance fee is $10. And good luck on your final competition this weekend, you guys. All right, we've been talking about working hard this whole broadcast. Can we take a second to relax? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, if we want to go casual, we can go for a fitting segment of Students Got Style. Hey. <laughs> now here's Camila and Dylan on that. Hey, Barons. It's Dylan. And Camila. And today we're going to be interviewing a Bonita Vista student. Kainoa about his style. Kainoa is a student at Bonita Vista who appreciates music and clothing. We asked him where he gets his clothes from. Mostly I shop online, like on Grail, Depop. When he described his style, he said he likes to find clothes that most people would not wear. I try to be a little different and have like some nice pieces, but uh, I try to find stuff that not, not most people would wear. He finds his inspo from runway shows and different underground type brands. I like watching a lot of old, like, old runways of a bunch of like underground type brands. Kainoa likes underground music such as ambient plug genres. In his free time, he makes music which could influence his style. Alright, that's all from us. Xavier, what are your style influences? Thanks for asking, Camila. My style is actually influenced by the one and only Noah De La Cruz. Barons, if you've got style, no matter where it's from, let us know on our Instagram, at BVHSTV. You could be the next student we interview. We'd love to see what you got. Anyways, that's all from us, Barons. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Derek. I'm Xavier. And, and we're, we're signing off. off.